Imagine diving into an ocean where the water is black as ink, where 40-foot monsters lurk in the void, armed with tentacles longer than school buses and jaws that could snap a submarine in half. This isn't a nightmare. It's Earth's prehistoric past. Scientists once laughed at tales of the Kraken until they found the fossils. The Kraken was real, and it wasn't alone. Hidden in the depths were predators so horrifying they ruled the seas for 200 million years until evolution finally hit pause on its deadliest experiment. Strap in. We're diving into the abyss to meet the real monsters that inspired your darkest fears. First up, a creature with teeth like machetes and a hunger so brutal it ate its own kind. Don't blink. You're about to meet the real-life kraken. And it's worse than the legends. Long before the age of dinosaurs, Earth's oceans were ruled by nightmarish creatures, monsters that would make even the fiercest modern predators seem tame. Among them, one legendary beast stands out, a colossal tentacled terror that inspired myths of the Kraken. But this wasn't just a sailor's tall tale, it was real. Picture this, 320 million years ago, Earth's swamps and jungles were crawling, with giant scorpions and millipedes. But the true horrors didn't lurk on land, they waited beneath the waves. The oceans were home to predators so massive, so brutal, they turned the seas into a hunting ground of nightmares. Among them was Rhizotus, a monstrous fish longer than a car and heavier than a pickup truck, with dagger-like fangs and a body built. For speed, it was the ultimate freshwater killer. But even this beast was small compared to what lurked in the open ocean. Before sharks, before whales, there was Camarachuras, the original deep-sea nightmare. This ancient cephalopod lived 450 million years ago during the Ordovician period and was the closest thing to a real-life kraken the world has ever seen. Size up to 36 feet long, three times the length of a great white shark. Weapons, a crushing, beak, razor-sharp tentacles, and a shell lined with chambers for buoyancy control. Hunting style, ambush predator, snatching prey with lightning-fast strikes. Camarachuras didn't just hunt fish, it devoured giant sea scorpions and even early, armored fish. Its sheer size made it the undisputed ruler of the ancient seas. Fast forward to the Jurassic period, and the oceans had a new terror, Megatuthus, a squid-like predator with tentacles lined with hundreds of sharp hooks. Size over 10 feet long, bigger than most modern squids. Killing tools, a powerful beak and hooked arms to drag prey into the depths prey fish, small marine reptiles, and even other cephalopods. This was no sluggish deep sea dweller. It was fast, agile, and relentless. By the Yai, Cretaceous period, the oceans were even deadlier. Enter Tusotuthus, a massive mollusk that prowled the western interior seaway, a vast, predator-infested ocean that once split North America in two. Size, up to 35 feet, rivaling the giant squid of legend. Fatal encounters. Fossils show it was eaten by mosasaurs, but not without a fight. One fish was found choked to death trying to swallow a Tusotuthus hole. This creature was so terrifying, it may have inspired later kraken myths. But no discussion of prehistoric ocean predators is complete without Mosasaurus, the real life. Sea dragon, size up to 56 feet long, bigger than a T-Rex. Bite force, strong enough to crush a car. Diet, sharks, giant turtles, and even other mosasaurs. This was the apex predator of its time, a monster so dominant, nothing was safe. The Kraken wasn't just a myth. It was inspired by real creatures, ancient cephalopods and marine reptiles that ruled the oceans for millions of years. Today, we only have fossils and legends, but the truth is even more terrifying than the stories. What's the scariest prehistoric predator to you? Let us know in the comments, and if you want more deep dives into Earth's deadliest creatures, subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and sleep tight, because the ocean's ancient nightmares are, thankfully, long gone, or are they?